morning guys and it really is an early morning go up today at half four because we are making our way to Warwick to meet Tom Morello and then I think from there Tom's gonna drive us to go pick up Steve and whoever else is coming today I'm not too sure who's coming from there we are driving to Blackpool which is a long drive within itself so it's gonna take me two hours to get to Tom I think it's like two and a half three hours to Blackpool and then afterwards another two and a half three hours back from Blackpool to Warwick well from Blackpool to wherever we go and then I gotta drive home after all of that so that's like 10 hours plus in the car today I am looking forward to going to Blackpool and checking up on the renovation seeing the progress that they've made since last time even though I'm not too sure if we're gonna see the exact same properties but we probably will see some so after I signed out the weekly on Saturday I spoke to JP, JP, Jason Patterson. Yeah, I'm gonna refer to him as JP from now on. Um, yeah, I just sent him a message thanking him for his support because literally he's someone I've never met and ever since I started doing my reels, he would repost it or comment under it. And yeah, it's just, it's just not common for someone to support you like that, especially if they haven't met you. So I sent him a message and what he replied with is where he basically said we're all one big property family and we should support each other which again it's, it's a very nice thing and not not a lot of people have that mindset some people are just thinking they're in it for themselves and they, they don't want to support others um, yesterday I spoke to Gersh because Gersh is doing what I want to do and he's been a very successful deal sourcer and it's just the beginning I know he's only literally just started going into it full time so imagine what what he's gonna do now I spoke to him about like what's worked for him and what hasn't worked for him just getting advice so I can try and replicate the formula that he's using he gave me some good advice and it's something I am going to replicate for the next three months I'll probably speak about it in more detail but you guys will see it anyway because that is literally what I'm gonna be doing for the next three months is what Gersh has advised me to do and what's worked for him basically so that um, I think one of my tires are um, I think one of my tires are a little bit flat but um, yeah so thank you for that Gersh I am gonna put that into effect one of the main things Gersh did say is I need to narrow in on one area so I have decided that I'm going to narrow in on Wales. And the reason why I've chose Wales is one, is because I have family up there. So when I do go down there, which will be often, I don't have to pay for a hotel because hotels at the moment is definitely taking a big chunk of my money. Guys, will catch you in Warwick when I'm with Tom. So I've just got to Warwick and Tom is here now, driving. I'm about to get into the car. I don't even know where my car keys are actually myself. <laughs> Almost the locked it instead of opening it for you. You saying you okay? You okay. Morning. Yeah, okay. Morning guys. Hi. Was that you guys driving yeah, up and yeah. down? We yeah. I was thinking that was you as well. Like, someone's left their locks on. You are a proper black cat. Yeah, it is. That's a police, I hear it that. <laughs> <laughs> guys, Tom is a crazy driver. Make sure you have your seatbelts on because yeah. he is shocking. <clears throat> you got you like got, got all wrong on his <laughs> You're bad. You're terrible. It's just why the steer is that that on edge nah, when we nah, drive, nah. right? That then he creates like a like a thing in the car where everyone's scared. <laughs> right? There's nothing wrong with my driving. That's I did like two thousand mile a month, three thousand mile a month. I know I've been in the car with you. you. Yeah, you've been with me. Right? Yeah, and I've been you scared. Yeah, have you? No, I have yeah, not right. yet. You hear that? Yeah. Just stopped off at the service station. I'm with Tom, Luke, and Gemma. Steve is not coming today because he's got to sort out 
the feature wall or basically all the TVs trying, still trying to get that to work just on the way to Blackpool stopped off get a snack hungry yeah. and yeah we've got like an hour and a bit left of our journey so we're at the second house of the day that's so different So we've just gone to the shop that we've been to before. I know we didn't go into the other house because one of the plasterers called in sick and they have the key, so we couldn't get in. Tom's gonna try and get the key, but might not be able to get in. But if you remember this shop. Let's see what it's looking like inside. If Tom can get us in. Sort of floor in town. Sick. See all the spotlights. See the plug sockets are in. Heating. It's coming together nicely. Yeah, so overall, it's coming on pretty nicely. Last time, flooring wasn't down. And to be honest, it was just in a state. So this is the shop. This shop was an absolute abortion. So <laughs> then we'd had a carpet to come out before I started, because uh, this half of the floor was rotted. You now know why, which I'll tell you later. That, so from there down, somebody had come in and put a new floor in. And then they'd put uh, a plywood over the top of it. So when I cut it, all the plywood was lifting everywhere, and I was like, that's not right. So I got Christian up here, which is one of my guys, and he, could, he I, I was coming to look at the other job, so he come up with me, and he ripped all the floor up while I was at the other jobs. And then, we ripped a few boards up here, and what they'd done is they took the old floor, threw it under the floor, and built a new floor, and so all that rotting wood was under the floor. So then it made the new floor rot. So then we had to go back in there and rip it all back up again, re-timber it. And what, while doing so, we realised there's three air bricks along there, and they're tiled straight over them. So they took away the airflow from under the building. So not only had you got wet rotting wood underneath the floor, but also the air bricks weren't doing their job. You can actually see the air brick. It's just there. Um, so then we ripped the floor, put a new floor down, put a new laminate down, scraped on heavy, tacked on. We didn't want to put the skirt on before the laminate. That, that's all the other. Uh, we didn't want to put the skirt on before the laminate because you end up with that beard and there's no point because there was no skirt. So you might as well do it this way around. Uh, obviously, we put a new door frame in. Uh, the new doors have been hung with just that, normal doors, all that, normal handles. And then the decorator's just got to finish off with these little bits and bumps. Uh, there's not a great deal left to do here. The spark's going to come back near the ceiling. He's painted and put all the spots away, which will take him a couple of hours. Um, screw all the sockets and switches back, which need to be replaced, which are not those ones that we should be all painted over. And we're pretty much there. So, yeah, I'm happy with it. I need to just make a list of what I think is left to do here, even though it might have to take And then, yeah, there's a lot of lights in there. A lot, a lot of lights. Never seen this much spotlights in my life. <laughs> Sorry, um, Tom's doing a snagging list. Gonna see what's on there in a minute to see what he has spotted that I haven't spotted because, yeah, see how his eyes trained. 
Tom, can you walk me through your snagging list? So, we have... The skirting's got to be tapped off. So I started over the back there, you probably can't see it on the camera, but I can see the left. Yeah, I can see it at the back. There's obviously all the spotlights, the million of them to pop into the holes. Yeah. They're all cut out, they're all ready. They're literally just spring loaded. Yeah. And you pop them in and push them off. in. Uh, we've got to fit a new front door, which we already knew about, which we leave to last so that anyone that removes any relief really short of anything doesn't damage the new front door. Yeah. Obviously, that's got to go. Um, boxing in around the meter, I've put that on the list, but I have noticed that he's already built the boxing in. So they're behind that, that timber there, so the boxing in for there and at the back he's already built. Okay. So I think it's just a matter of fitting them. Fitting uh, sockets to be changed for new. So there's a lot of sockets around the perimeter yeah. that you can see. And they're just, they're not, they're not, there's nothing wrong with them, but they've got a lot of pain in them, they're old and tatty, I'd prefer them to be changed. Uh, there's a window still there to be fitted, the ones at the front have already been fitted, but that'll cover up all this defective. It's plaster meat in the window and bits and bobs. Uh, and then the architrave. Then I've come in here and obviously it's pretty much the same, you know, tap the skirt, put the spots up, yeah. um, sort the sockets and switches out and then prep this window and paint it. Okay. Um, give it two seconds. And then I can drive here. Kitchen is fitted. Yeah. It needs to be plumbed. It needs to be plumbed. This is the boiler cupboard. We have an ongoing issue with the boiler where they because the building was unoccupied, when they put a new gas main in the road, yeah. they didn't make this connection. Yeah. So we have to wait for them to come out and make the connection and do the drop test. Uh, kitchen needs sealing in, obviously. There's a few little things left to do in the kitchen. Paint it or put the architrave up. Kitchen, it's just a kitchen. This is the bathroom. We ripped all the clay enough, we plastered it out. It needs a sill fitted, it needs painting out. It needs the spots putting up, it needs the architrave fitting, obviously the toilet and sink. Yeah. And, and then the flooring to come continue through. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not far off, even though it looks far off, it's such a small building that yeah. it's a day here and a day there. So he's saying by the end of this week that this will be over the line. As long as we can hold him to that and I'll come up here on Friday, we're all good. Thanks, Tom. shop because Ali and Brad who are doing a flip with Steve joint venture they need to pick their tiles for their bathroom so we're waiting for them and while we're waiting for them we're just having a look around yeah up there Ali's here you can see him yeah what are you guys thinking what are you guys thinking I did Alright Andy, I've got to go. I'm picking some tiles for my house, but I'll chat to you later, yeah? Alright, bye bye, bye bye. Well, I don't know. Hey, no, you're, 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 I'm good, right. you? Yeah, great. I can get pink ones. Pink ones. Yeah. Bright pink. What did we say? We went with the grey. Grey, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which I mean, I think these ones. Big ones, though, yeah. Look so far. I think the big ones are the better ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They look like more expensive, more classy. Yeah, that's what I think. Smaller ones, I don't know, I don't know. Nah. So like, like, like yeah, yeah. as well. Okay, yeah. Well, you know what it is? Yeah. 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 Darren, who's the con main contractor for the renovation, he's here. You want to try and keep it a little bit bright for me because it's quite dark and dingy in there. Well, I think they're too dark. I think they're too dark, man. But I think you're like this. Something like that, or you could go and eat that. Like that's dark and that's light. You know, it's like me. You know, you could put. You want that color on the floor. You'd want to do a two con. You'd want to do two con. You'd want them in sixes and then the threes. Yeah, that's what you want. Make some fucking votes for this, mate. But I could just get these lads to, to measure it all up anyway. It's, it's like the bosses. Uh, the guy who does the tiling, he's, 
Once he's dead, he's the boss. Yeah. Oh, what, and it, we don't have a match? That's all I would do. I don't even think it's that expensive. No, this is sick, man. It is nice, isn't it? Nah, that's too much. I got that wood look sick, though. Just a bit too much for me. This is nice. I like this. It's quite simple. A nice little marble effect. This is that's it for me. That is that that's perfect. Them tiles like white. Maybe not that. Definitely wouldn't do this. Don't like the dark colours. This is quite nice. That is a long bath though. That is nice. <laughs> Something you'd want to have in like your hotel. That one's nice, I don't mind that one. Yeah, that one's quite nice. Does this fit like with your colour scheme of the house though? Um, nah. Um, nah, 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 nah. I think these are the ones that they're going for, so these are them laid out. Last time I walked, I don't like it. You don't like it? No. <laughs> <laughs> you need to say, just you know, just stick it's not up to me, so. Right, it's gotta be a joint. I just think they look shit. Like, they're all glossy and I don't know, they're so boring. Like, if you're gonna get them like that, you have to take them like. Like, yeah, I think they're gonna You just gotta take that. What I did as well when I do stuff, right? I try not to think about too much. Your personal. Well, personal, well, personal like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, you know, you might like, I don't know, Armani, someone else might like, you know, in clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got to think, what's the trend oh, now? What's fair. people going for? Like, I think they would know, look a lot better sideways. They, I don't like them. I mean, they'll do the job, no bother, like, yeah. 100%, they'll be fine. Yeah, I like them better, like that, than like that. Yeah, yeah, 100%. So you prefer them vertical? Yeah. So much, I no, no, sorry, like, I prefer no, them horizontal. Yeah, yeah, I would like, I prefer them that way than that way. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. You need anti slide or anti slip on the, on the floor ones, definitely. Okay. But then when you do that, they don't look that straight, don't they? They look the same. There's hardly any difference, though. It's different, grader. It is, but it's not much, is there? Are we talking about this? Would, that would be in the same. But this would be decided to go with. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 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 The white on the wall, but it's going to be a square, and then the grey ones on the floor. So I've just been dropped back off at my car. I'm about to head back to London. Had an absolutely great day, but Tom, you see his driving. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna let you guys know exactly how many times we nearly crashed, yeah? Because, pfft, listen. Like, see if Tom has passengers in the back, right? And he wants to talk to them. He actually looks at them in the eye through the mirror. So when he's doing that, I just questioned. I even questioned him. I said, why are you looking, why are you looking in their eyes and you're talking to them? Who, who's looking at the road? And his answer was me. That says it all. Honestly, that says it all. But yeah, I had a great day. <clears throat> now it's more driving. So it's a two hour drive here, then two, hour, two and a half hour drive to Blackpool, two hours and 45 back and now another two hours. It's not the most fun thing to do, I can tell you that. But I will catch you guys back in London. <sighs> that drive was so long. Even though it's shorter than the drive that I usually do, but I think it's just the traffic. The traffic, yeah. Actually, probably wasn't even just the traffic. I think I've been in the car for about nine hours today. It's probably just that. I have ordered Nando's, hungry, and it should be here in the next five to 10 minutes. So, over the moon with that. Honestly, I haven't eaten all day. I haven't eaten one thing. Tommy was at a million miles an hour. 
and there was basically no time to eat. Yeah, so the first house we went to today, apparently I'm not allowed to show that on the YouTube, which is a bit annoying. I'm gonna see if I can show snippets of it. We'll see, but we'll see about that. So yeah, probably gonna eat my food and then go to bed because I woke up at half four this morning. And yeah, I did have a few power naps in the car on the way, on the way back. But yeah, I think this is it for today. I don't wanna end the week here because it's just Monday. Afternoon guys. I have finally got my hair done. It's been, honestly, I couldn't tell you how long it's been since I haven't got my hair done. Yesterday, I didn't want to sign out because it just feels short. It just feels like it's been one day and that's it really. Even though I think I got quite a bit of footage. I'm gonna sign out today. What's the plan? Well, the plan for the week, as I said before, is not too much I can actually do because of the Jubilee. But next week, we will be going to Wales and we will be starting to put our imprint in Wales, getting to know all the estate agents and yeah, viewing properties and try and replicate what Gersh done in Walsall. So that is the plan for the next three months. So guys, we're just getting started. Continue to follow the journey. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next week. Swabbing on the track.